connected. What's up YouTube and welcome to today's video. So today is a review I've been looking forward to doing for quite some time. Today we're going to look at the Momentum helmet from Senna Bluetooth. Nowadays having a Bluetooth communicator on your helmet has become very common and for good reason. I've been using the Senna brand of communicators for quite a number of years starting from my very first SMH10 but nowadays I swap back and forth between a 30K and a 20S Evo. The ability to make and receive phone calls, listen to music, follow GPS, and of course communicate directly with my riding buddies makes my Bluetooth communicator one of my favorite purchases. For most of us, we simply buy our favorite lid and we choose which communicator we want and we mount it all together. Until now, Senna has brought to market its Momentum line of helmets, which includes a helmet and a communicator all wrapped in one. It starts with the Momentum Lite, which is a helmet and it connects up to three other riders, kind of like the Senna 10S. Then you move into what we have here. This is the Momentum helmet, which is a Senna helmet, and it also includes connectivity up to seven other riders, eight in total, which is essentially the 20S or 20S Evo in the helmet. Next up, they have the Momentum INC, which is intelligent noise control. And finally, at the top of the line, which is not yet available, will be the Momentum Pro, which incorporates everything plus a action camera mounted right on top. So considering I already have a GoPro mounted off the front of my helmet and I wear earplugs, the standard Momentum with the 20S features really seem like the logical choice for me. So let's jump into it and take a look at it. The Senna Momentum features a composite fiberglass shell that is DOT certified. The EPS liner is removable and washable. Air comes in through vents mounted on the top and at the chin. At the rear there is an opening to let all the hot air out. As with most helmets it includes a breath guard and a chin curtain. So now that we're past the helmet itself, let's look into what the Bluetooth can do. As I said, the specifications are pretty much the same as a Senna 20S or a 20S Evo. So you get all the goodies like Bluetooth 4.1, audio multitasking, voice control, up to eight riders including you, so you get all seven other riders plus yourself. One of my favorite things about Senna Bluetooth products is how long the charge lasts. And uh, this Senna 20S Evo, I charge it every after every couple of rides just to make sure it's ready to go. But um, this Momentum helmet really takes the cake when it comes to charge. At the back here, there is a small charging port, and uh, it takes about two and a half hours to fully charge this helmet. Senna is claiming a charge time or a use time of about 20 hours. 20 hours. That's ridiculous. But it does last a long, long time. I've only charged this once in all the times I've ridden in it, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's always good to go. So that's really, really cool right there. So as I said, on the one side here, you have the charging port. On the back side here, you have three buttons. You have a, pl uh, a plus button, a minus button, and a center button. And if you're familiar with Senna products, the best way to describe it is the plus would be like turning the jog one way, the minus would be like turning the jog the other way. The center button takes the place of pushing in the jog button and the phone button. So turning on the unit is as easy as pressing the top two buttons and holding them. And it's all ready to go right there. Turning off, same thing, top two buttons. It's an all-in-one package. Helmet, Bluetooth communicator, all-in-one. And when you look into the EPS liner here, um, you can really not tell that anything's been installed. There's nothing hanging off the side of the helmet. You can barely feel the speakers. The microphone is recessed into the shell. It's just really, really clean. Now, in most brands, I wear a size large. I wear a size large in speed and strength. I wear a size large in showy. This here is a large and it fit me very well. So I've ridden with this helmet uh, at varied speeds, highway speeds, local speeds. I made phone calls with it. I listened to music with it. I used it interacting with another 20S. I really tried to put it through its paces. And uh, here are my impressions. I think that Senna did a really great job integrating everything all in one. And to me, that's its number one draw. 
Now for this, what I'm gonna do is, I wanna compare it to my other helmet. So for all intents and purposes, what we have now is a Senna Momentum and an Ashoei RF1200 with a 20S Evo hanging off the side. Uh, technically, these both have just about the same specifications. The EPS padding in the Momentum is a little more forgiving and I actually appreciate that when I go to put my uh, glasses on and if you wear sunglasses it'll help you as well. It seems to be a bit more room on the sides of the eye, on the eye port area. It's also lighter. The Senna Momentum comes in at about 3.1 pounds whereas the Shoei RF 1200 with the 20S on the side is coming in at just about 4.0 pounds. So it's pretty significant. This is a nice lightweight helmet. My RF 1200 is DOT and Snell rated. The Senna is only DOT rated. Probably, I'm just speculating here, because of all the electronics inside of it. Who knows? So in all fairness, I don't know if my RF 1200 would be Snell rated with a 20S on the side, but if you know out there uh, the details of Snell and how electronics affect it, Please, uh, you know, hit me up in the comment section down below. I'd really love to know how, how that affects it right there. The battery life on the Momentum is much, much better than the 20S, so that's a pro. The buttons on the side here to access are super, super easy, and you get accustomed to them really quickly. Uh, but if you're familiar with any of the set of products, if you've had anything from a, an SMH10 to a 30K, they all use that familiar jog dial, which they have kind of gone away from, but like I said, it's very easy to acclimate to the new three button system. And this is also a very comfortable helmet that does a good job of ventilation. I like how on the Momentum line of helmets, everything is just hidden completely inside. You have no idea it's there. It's completely unobtrusive. Not to say that when you throw a center communicator on the side of your favorite helmet, it will be, but you have to make sure to do a clean job where everything's pretty much taken care of here for you. And finally, this is me just being subjective. I really like the matte black colorway. It also comes in a gloss white, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I like the matte black and I threw a sticker on the side and uh, it's pretty much done, it's good to go. So here are my nitpicks. I believe that every helmet in the Momentum line comes with a pinlock ready shield, yet only the INC and probably the Pro come with the pinlock insert. This helmet did not come with a pinlock. And I gotta tell you, Senna, that's a little cheesy. If you're gonna put a pinlock ready shield on a, on, a, on a lid, you should be including the pinlock insert. That's just my feeling. But I mean, how much is a pinlock? 30 bucks? It should have been thrown in. The three button system, although I really, really like it, I almost feel like that it could use a fourth button because the middle button here is used for phone pairing, it's used for configuration, it's used for Bluetooth pairing, but when you want to use the phone, uh, I'm so used to hitting the phone button and doing a voice dial or something that you have to press this for a number of seconds, I believe it might be five seconds, and I found that a little bit annoying. The workaround that I came up with was um, the uh, voice commands, which I never got into on the 20S, and I really, really like it on the Momentum. So I started using the voice command feature because quite honestly, I didn't want to press and hold this center button five seconds. So Senna, what I would change is I would put a fourth button over there to be the fourth phone button. So you have that four button functionality that we've all come to love on the 20S and all the other uh, jog dial versions of your communicators. So. But I know logistically there was probably a reason, but I'm just telling you, four buttons would have made it perfect for me. The shield itself only seems to have two um, detents. Fully closed, it doesn't really have a stop until about there. And then there's one more that goes up, as opposed to my RF 1200, which has a nice multiple detent right there. It has a nice locking one for city mode, um, when, it's, when you want to crack your shield a little bit. I found that this one, you really can't because it'll just flop around. And it kind of works, but it's not really made for it. Um, like I said, maybe it's because I'm used to this helmet. I would like to have seen more positive detents here in the shield. So what's my final thought? The Momentum helmet is not the best in everything, but it seems to do everything well. And at a retail price of $449, Comparing that to my setup over here, forgetting about the graphic, going with a basic showy RF 1200, which is about 
and a 20S Evo, which is about 270 for a single, you're at $770 versus $450. For somebody just starting out that wants to get all in one, this is an amazing deal. For somebody who's going from a budget helmet to something that's a little bit better, like a mid-level helmet and wants to jump into a communicator, this is an amazing deal. I would absolutely recommend it. For someone like me, I really like the feel of a premium helmet. I really like my Shoei RF 1200. And I have to be honest with you, the RF 1200 Shoei is a much better helmet than the Senna Momentum. But you're gonna pay for it, $770 versus four, five, uh, $450. For the majority of people who are looking for a really solid helmet with a great communicator, it's basically all of this over here for $450. It's tough to argue against it. So I would recommend it if you're just starting out in the world of communicators, buying your first communicator and you want a better helmet, or you want to step up to a better helmet, I would absolutely recommend the Senna Momentum helmet. So if you have any questions or comments about either of these setups or my impressions of them, please put them in the comment section down below. And do me a favor if you like this video and you found it valuable, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you get all the latest content here on the channel. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Ride safe. I'll see ya.